Well, Kevin, Nancy, about an hour into things here down at Phoenix Park, the James Blair Foundation has already had to bring in a second order of food. They're also starting to run low on all the clothes they've been handing out to people. Over the next two hours or so, they expect to feed and clothe at least several hundred people down here downtown. Now, leading up to today, the foundation, in the name of a Lexington murder victim, had a clothing and food drive to get ready. Its namesake, James Blair, was killed in October of 2016 when he was shot in the Chase Bank parking garage downtown. Since then, his brother and other friends and family have started the James Blair Foundation. Over the past year, they've given kids free school supplies and haircuts. They've also held community cookouts. Their mission is to stop gun violence, lift up the community, and give James's legacy, keep James's legacy alive. We just like giving back to the community and this second chance resource. You know, it's Thanksgiving coming up, and you know everybody needs a Thanksgiving meal. You know, it's cold out, and throw a lot of coats and jackets and gloves. Just want to give back. Now, James's friends and family here say they will be out here in Phoenix Park until 7 o'clock tonight handing out food and clothes. Any clothes that are left here, they're going to leave them here in case anyone is not able to make it in that time frame. And over the next few weeks, they expect to do something else. They say they wanted to involve Christmas and kids. Covering the news in downtown Lexington from the LEX 8 T-Mobile Newsroom, back to you.